On the last video. A wooden wheel. What is this place? I must be dreaming. And so it continues. Bob? Are you Bob? So cold, Hang on, let so me deal with my so cat blind. and then I'll deal with you. Uh, Alright, hey buddy. Arms for a poor old blind bastard with no home no hearth. I'm so sorry, I don't have any money. Ah, well, I'll let you in on a secret, Rose Petal. Blind Bob's happy he don't have no home no hearth. Had those, hated them. Left to begin a career in beggaring. Now a pauper's life is a king's life. Freedom, fresh air, no strings, no stress, no bleeding taxes. Aren't you cold? You think? But no. Had a bit of an accident with a fire charm when I was a wee lad. Left me permanently temperate. It's actually quite pleasant. But what about that whole being blind thing? That can't be good. Oh, that... It's theoretical. Theoretical? I could have been blind. Had an accident with a chemical spell when I was a wee lad. Near burned me eyes out. But it didn't. No, no, not at all. Miss Blind Bob's face by a mile. Could have burned me eyes out, mind you. Could very well have. So I'm theoretically blind. Of course, theoretically blind Bob is no proper name for a beggar. So I just use Blind Bob nowadays. That's me, that is. Uh, okay. Hello. <laughs> you are the coolest old man. Ah, oh, God. I theoretically... <laughs> I theoretically need your help, man. Can I ask you a question? You can ask. I might answer. I might not. Fair enough. I'm looking for someone. The innkeeper said you might know. Her name is... Hold it right there, Rose Petal. Tit for tat. Them's the rules. What do you mean? If you want Blind Bob to do you a favor, you do him one first. Of course, dude. Yeah. What do you want? Fair enough. What do you want? Just so you know, I don't have any money. Well, Rose Petal, you seem to be cozy with old Ben Rima in there. Now she makes a robust mulled wine. Just the thing for a cold winter's morning. But Ben Rime, she don't take well to blind Bob sitting on her doorstep. And she don't willingly part with her wares without recompense of sorts. You want mulled wine? Oh, a bottle would do nicely, Rose Petal. Mind, it's the good stuff now. Made with Mrs. Mullins' mixed spices. Mulled wine made with Mrs. Mullins' mixed spices. Fine. I'll see what I can do. Oh, thanks, Petal. You made a theoretically blind man happy. And you made me Don't happy me, as good well. Sir, madam. Yeah, I can see. I'm just a poor old no, time to go back in here. To go to eat. Hey, lady. Give me your wine. Where'd you go? Oh, hi. Um, hello? Yes? Oh, it's you. What can I do for you, child? Give me that. I spoke with Blind Bob, but he wouldn't tell me anything. Ah, yes. Tit for tat. Given a chance to bargain, Blind Bob will take it. What does he want now? Mulled wine. He wants mulled wine made with, um, Mrs. something or other spice mix. Mrs. Mullins mixed spices. For a beggar, Blind Bob is quite particular. I don't know what to do. If I can't find Minstrel Magda, I can't get home. If I can't get home... Calm down, child. I will help the best I can. I have red wine and I can heat it up for you, but I'm all out of spices. I was supposed to receive a delivery this morning, but no one has been by yet, and I cannot leave the inn to get them myself. Maybe I could pick up the spices for you. You could. I buy my spices from a merchant at the Southgate Market. His is the first stall on the left. When you walk down, I read Avenue. Just tell him Ben Rime sent you to pick up her order of Mrs. Mullins' mixed spices. And be sure to mention that I'm not happy he did not make his delivery as scheduled. I will put some wine on the boil while you are away. Thank you so much. You're welcome, child. Run along now. Wait, how do I get to the market? 
The quickest way would be through Old Town, but they've closed it off this morning. You'll have to go the long way around. Walk east, towards the tower. When you get to the tower square, go south. That will take you on to Irid Avenue, which leads all the way down to the south gate. East, then south. Okay, thank you. I'm gonna give that merchant a good stern tuck and do right for you. All right then. East, then south. Make I'm going to assume to this is east. Hi, man. Bye, man. All right. Oh. Oh. Can you move your dinosaurs, please? The traffic appears to be backed up. No one's getting through. God darn it. Alright then. Can I go? I'm gonna have to find a whole other route. What is this? They must have just installed these steam machines. They look brand new, and they definitely don't fit into the whole medieval look of this place. How do you know? The whole freaking world is different here. Maybe it's normal to be medieval with steampunk things going on. I'm not saying it's steampunk. Arms, arms for a pool. Theoretically, Blind Bob! You're a cool guy. Okay, so if I'm going east right now, south will be this way. All right, I got that. Hello. Oh, the, the, hey, wait, wait. I like to come here in the mornings to admire the tower. Isn't it amazing? And to think a decade ago there was only a decrepit temple here. Yeah, it's pretty big. And that's impressive for a tower. I've seen much smaller ones. I'm gonna go find that stall now. All right, so they said the first stall on the left. It should be this one. You! I'm gonna have to kick your butt. Hello. Hello, hello. Ha, what a wonderful morning we're having. How may I be of service today, young lady? I need some of them spices. The innkeeper at the journeyman sent me to pick up an order of Mrs. Mullins' mixed spices. It's for... Mulled wine! Yes! Oh, Ben Rebay Boy is the best cauldron in town, she does. Absolutely wonderful. I'll have them sent right up. Fantastic. Next! Hold on. Ben Rebay needs the spices right now. You could just give them to me and I'll deliver them for you. Why, yes. Yes, I could give the spices to you. What a wonderful idea. Saves me from having to deliver them, doesn't it? Fantastic! No problem. None at all. Except... Except what? There's a tiny, tiny problem. Nothing major, nothing that can't be solved. Why, it's, it's barely worth mentioning. You see, the thing is, I don't actually have any spices at all this morning. I see. Isn't this the spice stall? Ben Rime told me to go to the spice stall. Well, then you've certainly come to the right place. I sell spices and little else. In fact, I'm the exclusive distributor of Mrs. Mullins in Mercuria. Best spice mixes in the Northlands, or any lands. It's just that, well, my delivery is a, a tiny bit delayed this morning. Really? How delayed? Oh, I'm sure it'll be here any... Quite a bit, to be honest with you. Quite a bit. is always a problem. How delayed is quite a bit? I'm sure it won't take more than a, a few hours. Excuse me? A few hours, at most. Before lunchtime, I'm sure. Or by tea time. If he's not here by dinner time, I'll eat my left shoe. I really do need those spices. Like, now. I wish I could be of more help, young lady. But as long as the ghetto's closed, the carriages are stuck in Burrow Crook. The ghetto? Oh, you're an out-of-towner. Welcome to Mercuria, etc., etc. Wonderful, wonderful. So what about the ghetto? 
Right. Well, the Azadi have set aside a section of Old Town for the Magicals. That way, they can be with their own. We don't bother them, they don't bother us. Fantastic. Wonderful. Why can't the carriages come through? Well, once in a while, the Azadi help the Magicals weed out... undesirables. They close the ghetto down, search the buildings for criminals and contraband. Sort of spring cleaning, if you will. And your supplier is stuck in... what? Traffic? On the other side of the ghetto, up Burrow Crook, towards Coalstone Gate. Why, right below the journeyman. I just came from there. Right. So you... D wait, 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 wait. Why don't we help each other out, eh? If you pick up my delivery of Mrs. Mullins' mixed spices, our specialty, and bring them back here, I can give you Ben Rime's order. Hey, you're eccentric as hell, so you make a proper good salesman. But, fuck. All right, I'll do it. I guess it beats waiting around. Fantastic! You'll want to speak with Harry Kinron. He's a bearded fellow, a tad ornery, but a decent fellow at heart. He'll be up Burrow Crook, right below the journeyman inn. You can't miss him. Ask him for Mrs. Mullen's mixed spices. He'll try and get some money from you, but the order's been paid for already. Guy with a beard, wagons, Burrow Crook. Okay, I'll try my best. Come right back here with the spices, and I'll give you Ben Rime's order. Wonderful. Fantastic. I, I stared that man already down in the face and the beard hairs. I gotta go back and do the same thing. Eh, I've done worse. Let's go. Like the fire, like the... Oh. What are we doing with this one? He was caught inside the ghetto, selling medicine to the magicals. You know what that is, don't you? Treason. Treason against the Empire. And Sadir that have your head off. In a second. Any humans who get involved with the Magicals are traitors to their race. That might not warrant an appointment with the Blade here in this godlessless city, but we'll find a way to get you shipped off to Sadir. Move it! This... This... Oh... Okay, then. Hey, bearded guy. I'm back. Just for you. The traffic appears oh, to oh, be backed oh, up. Guy. No one's getting... May the six grant me strength. As if this morning hasn't been trying enough. Now what do you want, girl? I... On second thought, don't tell me. I'm not in the mood for idle chatter. But I... Magicals? <laughs> Damn ghetto rats. And those rebels? More like terrorists, if you ask me. Not a day goes by without them troublemakers making trouble for the rest of us. They should stick them on a boat and send them out to sea so as they don't bother honest humans trying to make an honest living. Call themselves freedom fighters, the terrors do. But it's because of them that I'm stuck here. Again! <laughs> freedom! <laughs> freedom for who? From what? It's not like the Azadi are keeping us imprisoned. In fact, life's a damn sight better than it was before they came. If this is oppression, I don't want to be liberated. Listen, I... Ye gods, I mean goddess, there's only one, blessed be her name, etc. You are so annoying. Listen to me, I just spoke with the spice merchant at the Southgate Market. You'll have to wait until they reopen the ghetto, just like everyone else. Well, he sent me to pick up a delivery of, um, Mrs Mullins mixed spices. What? No, that's, um, all right. It's irregular, but I reckon I can part with it for a fair price. He said it's been paid for already, and that you'd probably try to weasel more money out of me. For the love of... I'll just tell him we'll sort it out when I get down there. Mind you, it could take a while. Doesn't look like they're reopening the ghetto any time soon. I'm sorry, but he said he needs the spices right away. He's out of stock. I keep hearing this buzzing sound in my ear, but I don't see any black flies around. Only you. You can ignore me all you want, but I'm not leaving. If you think you're having a bad day, you should try mine on for size. By the mojals. I mean, by the grace of the six, blessed be the names. If you leave me be, I'll give you the bloody spices. And now... For the love of the goddess, and for the sake of my sanity, let me be miserable in peace. Absolutely. Won't bother you again. 
Thank you. Holy dick, you're annoying. Alright, bye. Oh my god, that guy was amazing. Hey lady, I'm gonna completely bypass going to him and just give these to you. Hello? What? Uh, here. It wasn't easy, but I got the spices. It took you long enough, child. Did you get lost? No, but I had to do a lot of running around. It doesn't matter. I have the spices now. Good. There's a pot of red wine in the kitchen. Mix the spices in, let it boil for a while, and you have mulled wine. Thank you so much. I appreciate all your help. Well, you look like you need all the help I can give you, child. God, you're awesome. I want to hang out with you later. All right, is this the pot? Yes. Okay, I'm going to have to fill that. Put the spices in here. And fill her up. Alright, cool. Let's go give this a theoretically blind bop. You have a nice day, lady. I like you. You know who I also like? You. Hi oh, there. God damn it. Here you go. Here. Mulled wine made with Mrs. Mullins mixed spices. Ah, the sweet scent of Mrs. Mullins and Riverwood Red. Give it here, Pattle. Let me take a swig. Ah, by the balance that hit the spot it did. Ah, I'm most grateful, Pettle. You've earned yourself a silver star in Blind Bob's book. Glad you liked it. It wasn't easy getting it. Without the journey, the reward is na half a sweet. That's, uh, what's her name? Uh, old chestnut round these parts. Still as true as the sky is green. Green? I had an accident with a chroma charm when I was a wee lad. Every morning Blind Bob wakes up, the sky's a different colour. Today it's green. <laughs> God, you're fucking amazing. Hey. Ah, Rose Petal, we meet again. What can I help you with? I need to get your information. Do you know where I can find Minstrum Magda? Oh, he knows her, Blind Bob does. He knows her well. Nice lady. Best sort not soups off the lame bastard hill. Do you know where she is today? Oh, she moves around, Magda does. Ain't seen her round here in a while. You might try asking someone other than Blind Bob. Like who? I don't know anyone in the city. Well, you might have more luck asking Crazy Clara. Lives up Crab Bend, Clara does, on Hangman Span, in view of Friar's Keep. Crazy as a turnip, Clara is. But she's also got a Scout Wing's eyes. She knows more than she lets on. God damn it, Bob. Thanks again. Come back any time, Rose Petal. <sighs> Make a donation to the welfare God, that guy's having a great Bob, day. And you'll receive your All right, it's time to go find a Clara. Hey, are you crazy, crazy, crazy Clara? Crazy, crazy Clara? Are you crazy Clara? You can say what you will about the Azadi, but they are skilled builders. You aren't crazy enough. Work on it. Is this where crazy Clara is? Excuse me, I'm going in. Going in hot. All right, if Crazy Clara isn't over here, I'm gonna have to shoot somebody. With what? I don't know. I'll find something. Are you Crazy Clara? Hi there. Are you Crazy... Um, are you Clara by any chance? You've been a bad girl, Clara. You'll have to be punished. Yes! My baby, my baby. Gone, gone, gone. You are crazy. I love it. Well, uh, just gonna ask you about the Blind Bob. I'm a friend of Blind Bob's. You know, theoretically. Near burn me eyes out, wee lad. Where's me back? My baby. Blind Bob's your baby? Pretty thing. So pretty, my flower. But she has to be punished. All gone. All gone. I think Bob's still up by the journeyman. 
but uh, you're not talking about him, are you? Baby, my baby, my baby. So you lost something? Or someone? My baby. Yes, that part I got. Your baby. Is it a child? A pet? Westerlings caught him in a net. Just like a butterfly. That's illegal, that is. Can't have that now, can we? Boxed him right up. We'll take care of him, put him to sleep for you. Pretty thing. Poor thing. My baby. So it is your pet. A dog? Cat? I'm guessing there are stranger pets in this world. No stranger. Best friend. You'll never have friends. You've been bad. No, please no. My friend. You said the Westerlings took him. Who are the Westerlings? The ghetto's close. Stand back. What's that you've got there, eh? Give us that thing right now. The soldiers took him. What did they do with him? We'll take care of him, we will. Gone. But close. So close. I still hear him, my baby. I still hear him crying. Do you want me to help you find your baby? Find baby? Yes, if I can. I'll try. Do you know where he is? Caged up like the twinkles in a diamond. He was coming home to Mammy. Home. Never again. Never. Never. Don't say that. We'll find him, okay? You are crazy. But that's okay. I'm gonna go find your baby. I'm going to assume it's up here because you said it was close. Oh, right. Overlooking the keep or something. Or the, the, the keep or... Whatever. I'm assuming this is the keep. And that sounds like the place where they would take something from a crazy old lady. And hold it. It's probably like a giant butterfly fox. That tower looks like bad news. I'm not going in there. Fine. Um... Well, that was all my plans. Can I go through here? I can. Oh, can I sneak around? I'll, I'll like, break in. And they'll have no... Oh, no. Okay. I'm just, maybe there's another way? Because that would be good. If, if there was. I don't... I don't think there is. I don't even know why I'm allowed to go down here. I don't even know why I'm allowed to do a lot of things I've been doing. I'm just gonna go find the friggin' baby now. Look for a pet, look for a pet. This is a giant thing, not a pet. But I'd like to ride it, but I can't. Gentlemen, do you have a pet? Are you the pet? Hello, pet. The south gate was where all the business from the harbor came through. Nowadays, that's over by the new harbor, by the west gate. You can see my overwhelming enthusiasm. How about you? Are you the pet? Guarding contraband merchandise confiscated from those thieving magicals. Perfect! So let me in. Get closed by order of the office of the emissary. I... No, you don't understand. I gotta go in there to get a pet. The ghetto's closed by order of the office of the emissary. You mother... What's inside? That's the ghetto. It's not a good place for humans. But stay away if I were you. Why is it closed? We're cleaning out the trash, confiscating contraband. Magicals don't have any respect for the law. I have respect for the law, and I'm magical. That's what my mother said. Let me through. It, it's, look at him. He won't let anyone into the ghetto. Shit! All right, fine. Let me ride you. Let, let me climb this. I'll ride you through. God damn it. Can I, like, go through the back alleys? Hey, you can't go in there. Why not? What? Oh. I see where this is going. Ha! Oh, are you the thing? That must be Crazy Clara's pet. Holy shit, it's, it's adorable! Really cute. I love it! I want one myself. Job, furball. You fuck shit up. Broke a stick. Scared a giant elephant thing with a like a freaking nose. It was a big nose. Fish, fresh from the ocean. Well, I guess that was it. I'm out of here.
All right, Clara. I want two pets of the animal. Like, just two will do me over really good. You're welcome. Now give me the information I require. I see you got your baby back. Safe for now. We are happy. So, so happy. I'm glad. Look, I'm trying to find Minstrel Magda. Do you know where she is? Magda? Where is Magda? That's what I need to know. Please, could you try and focus for a second? I really need to find Minstrel Magda. Cup of soup, Clara? Says the soup lady. Oh, yes, please. Right you are, then. Mmm, salt, not soup. Our favourite. What do you mean? Oh, soup lady, as in soup kitchen. She runs a soup kitchen. Soup. Soup for the poor and homeless. Warm and thick with peas and carrots in it. And not only peas and carrots, but dubious lumps, too. Where is Magda's soup kitchen? I go down there every morning to have my soup. I do. She's nice, she is. The soup lady. You ask her nicely, I'm sure she'll give you a cup, too. Down where? The market? We're just down the street, Clara, at the Southgate Market from sunrise till midday every day. You come by any time, you hear? That's right. The soup kitchen. I pass right by it. Thanks, Clara. Take good care of your baby, OK? He's a beautiful pet. Wave goodbye now. Wave goodbye, little one. I'm going to go get soup. I love soup. Soup, stews, chilies, chowders. It's all pretty good stuff. All right, I'm